Here with Jack Kling of Red Oak Boys Track. Jack, you just got done running the 4x1. You guys are champions in that. Let's start there. Walk me through that race. It's amazing. I mean, I got to give credit to my first three runners. Riley Fowles, Lane Kaus, St. Brayton Sifford. They gave me where I'm at. They gave me the position to finish the race. Sifford, one of the fastest third legs around. I mean, it's just amazing. I mean, it, we, they replaced me in the, like, the beginning of the year. I was thinking that would work, and it did. And we just kept PRing and PRing and PRing. It was just perfect. It's a, a good race. Like every time, race. Every time I've talked to you guys this year, uh, it's been all about handoffs. Uh, how, how did those go in that race? Dude, me and Braden Silver's handoff was perfect. Like, it was – I saw I saw their handoff. Their handoff looked good. I didn't see this one. But ours was uh, – I felt right in my hand. I, I was off. It was great. Talk about your other races. Uh, just kind of walk me through those. I mean, my 200 – I did not run good. I mean, fourth place, maybe state qualifier, probably not. 23.01, not very good. My 400, though, I am happy about that. 50.9. Not a, not a PR, but not a bad time either. I got se I got second, so I'm state, state qualifier there. The first place kid is fast, so I'm going to have to be in the state. And then we got the sprint med, which we got first in, which we, we've never beat Shannon this whole year until this night. So it, beating them just feels great. Obviously, uh, the elements out here, the rain uh, throughout the evening has been a factor. How have you been able to kind of handle that? In I mean, races? honestly, everyone else says the rain is a bad thing, but I, I like the rain. Like me, because there's no wind. So, I mean, it doesn't really affect you running. The rain, like, because it's like humid out here. So, like, the rain falling on me just feels good. Like, it's like a shower, kind of. It's just felt, it's, for me, it felt great. I like the rain. Yeah. Talk about uh, next week. Uh, you're headed to stay meet now. Uh, what are the goals? Honestly, well, it's me. It's us and Shan for Spring Med. So our goal there for the Spring Med is to get state championship. Uh, my 400, I could, I could win that. We'll have to, I'll have to go off there. My four by one, we can also win state championship. So I mean, and my 200, I don't even know if I'm gonna make it. But oh, those three races, I'm just hoping for state championship. The fact that that's even uh, a possibility, just kind of talk about that. I mean, Dude, you guys I mean, are, are, are front runners for a state championship. Uh, just talk about kind of the, the that, that has to have some confidence with it. Dude, ending ending my track career on a state championship would be like the best thing ever. And other than signing the morning side, like this was like this night and then probably state will probably be my like my favorite night of my life. Like, so this I love the sport. It's just, I mean, just getting the opportunity to run and everything, it's just perfect. Well, uh, you, you were ran quite well tonight, Jack. Congratulations on a great day. Thanks for the time. Here with Brody Cullen of Shenandoah Boys Track and Field. Brody, quite the day for you. You're headed to state in two events for sure. Possibility of a couple more. Just kind of walk me through your day. Uh, you know, we started off Sprint Med. Uh, we got second in that. Red Oak beat us. They don't usually do. Uh, we didn't run the best time, but, you know, we still secured that state spot. Um, then we had the 4x2, which we got... Uh, I don't remember what we got in that, but we did we did all right in that. And then four and a hurdles, I got first place in that. Um, and then four by one, we got fourth, which is okay. Not what we wanted, but. Talk about your 400 hurdles, walk me through that race. Uh, I started out a lot faster than I usually do. So um, I got to the 200 and I just knew I had to give it everything and I did. And the kid in front of me ended up falling, which helped me out quite a bit, I'm not gonna lie. So. Yeah, got first. The sprint med, obviously, you and Red Oak, you guys and Red Oak, uh, just been you know one two all year long, uh, and and the two favorites to potentially win a state championship. Just talk about putting into perspective that rivalry. I mean, what's that like? Oh yeah, I love it. I mean, it it, it brings high energy every single time, and you know I'm glad that uh, we have Red Oak compete with us every single meet like they do. Talk about uh, next week. Uh, what, what are some of the goals? What do you want to accomplish? Um, well, we want to we want to win state. We want to win uh, in the sprint med, maybe four by two, and hopefully I can place in the four hundred hurdles. Maybe get up there. Uh, yeah. Just, uh, yep. What would it mean to you to bring a state championship back to Shenandoah? Oh, it'd mean everything. I I I've been wanting it for a long time now, so it'd be it'd be really cool to bring one home. All right. Well, get rested up. Congratulations on a great performance today, and uh, good luck next week. Thank you.